In this video, traders, we're going to look at how we scan through stocks to create watch lists to trade from. Stay tuned. Hey guys, well, welcome to you. All right, so I'm going to log in a moment on the screen. I'm going to hit the screen. I'm going to log into C Trader. Uh, they're sponsoring uh, this video, guys. If you want to check them out, there's a link to them in the description below. So I'm going to log on to C Trader. What I'm going to do is going to go through the process of how we might create a couple of watch lists for long ideas and short ideas and kind of the using the 80 20 principle of saying okay we don't want to spend so long that it just becomes uh, you know sort of time sap for us because listen you know we are traders and we're busy uh, we don't want to be spending ages analyzing stuff at the same time we want to be able to generate trade ideas so this process kind of gives you um, a good overview and generating the best ideas show you how to segment them into long and short ideas and of course you can segment them into different strategies you've got for example bull flags or bear flags or first pullbacks or any of these different setups and ideas you've got and put them in a watch list so then you can monitor them for when they maybe start to set up maybe set your alerts and then pull the trigger and having this methodology and this approach just means that you are more structured in the way you're approaching things you know you've got your checklist you've got the way you're doing things and if you repeat this process over and over then it just becomes like you're doing anything. You're just checking beforehand, getting all, and you know you're not gonna miss anything. So what we'll do is hit the screens in a moment. I'll hit the screens now, actually, and we'll go through the process. Let's go. All right, guys, so I'm in C Trader. Uh, right, what we're gonna do now is we go to our all symbols on the side. So we've uh, kind of got now all symbols, and we're in, a, we're in a spread betting account. It's a live spread betting account here, just so we get uh, know exactly what's going on. Um, what I'm going to do is going to kind of look through. I'm going to start off maybe with um, just this, this spread being here. We don't need this here. So we're going to start off and go, right, let's have a look at the currency pairs. So what we're doing here is we're kind of scanning through our currency pairs. And, and the way that I've got this set up, guys, is I've got a daily chart set up at the top. Let's start off with DJPY. I've got a daily chart set up at the top. I've got my preferred indicators in here. And I've also now got an hourly chart below it. And these are linked by a uh, link symbol by ch uh, to chart by color. So we can click on this and we can link them. So what it allows us to do is as I change um, on here, the symbol, it changes both of these charts. So this is very good for scanning. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna scan through. So let's say for example, we're looking for, we're gonna create two watch lists, all right? So in our watch lists here, we're gonna create, uh, I've got to create one called long ideas, we're gonna create another and we're gonna create this. I'm gonna name this as short ideas uh, and this, will now mean that we can segment these things off. So we've got long ideas and short ideas. So we go back to our all symbols, we start on Forex and we look through. And what I'm looking for really is kind of something that fits the bill of, of a good long idea. So for this video, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, okay, something's been in a reasonable, uh, decent uptrend, maybe stagnating, maybe a bull flag, maybe a pullback. That's not bad, I quite like that. How does it look on, a, on an hourly chart? I'm looking at daily first, by the way, and I'm scanning down to the hourly. Hourly chart, I'm looking at it, and go, okay, you were pulled back to some support here. So in actual fact, it looks reasonably good uh, on, a, on a daily chart. And you can see I've done some analysis on this before because I've got a line here ready. We're pulling back to that support line, great. That's going on the long ideas. So now I go to my watch list and I've already put it in my long ideas. Uh, we'll show how to do this process in a minute. I'm sure we'll find another one in a moment. Now I'm gonna scan through some other AUD pairs. Um, this AUDNZD doesn't look too bad either. It's the same kind of scenario, pulling back to that support. Okay, great. So I'm going to go to my watch list now. I'm going to go to my long ideas. I'm going to hit the plus symbol here. And then I'm going to add into it uh, AUDNZD, enter, and we are away. And it goes. AUDNZD in there. Now I'm going to go back into my watch list. So my all symbol, so I'm going to scan through and I'm going to look. Now I don't add too many AUD pairs in because I don't want to be overexposed. Um, so I'm going to kind of skip through now, look at AUD, USD. And again, that would probably go in, but it seems to be general AUD strength as I'm doing this. So, you know, for speed, let's not go through everything here, but now we're going to go through the GBP pairs. And we already know, don't we, the AUD is reasonably strong because we've just seen it before we're analyzing. So we've got to be careful that we're not picking the wrong side of the pair. So GBP AUD is probably not a pair we want to be looking at because we're on the wrong side of the deal. So now we're going to go down and we can scan through and listen, you know, we can take your time with this. Surely for the video, I'm going to rush through it, but take your time, but don't take too much time, if that makes sense. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to scan through and quickly look and go, no, not interested in CAD JPY, not interested in this one, not interested in this one. I don't like that Euro AUD spike, not interested in that. What about Euro CAD? 
and I can scan through when I like something on the daily, well, that's when I'll start looking at the hourly. If you want to use 15 minutes, fine. If you want to split it again even more and do an hourly in 15 minutes, fine, exactly. So let's say I've done that with my indices and now I'm going to go and switch uh, to uh, Forex, I'm going to, uh, sorry, to my currencies. I'm going to switch to my indices now and go, right, let me just scan through. How's China looking? How's Australia looking? All right, not too bad. You know, it's pushing up. Uh, not interested in China. Maybe you're not interested in them anyway because you just don't want to trade them and because of the time zones, etc. I might be looking at the, at the CAC and I might look at the DAX and thinking, oh, you know what, the DAX is doing okay. The CAC is struggling. Maybe this is a good short idea. Maybe now we're going to start to roll over on this. Maybe we sat in the range for a long period of time. Huh, you know what, let me add this to my watch list. Let me go to my short ideas. Let me uh, copy what I've got here. And I can either select it from here, guys, which is kind of an easier way to do it, I guess. Select it from here and it goes in, or I can type them in here. Either way works fine. Uh, I can scan through. So now maybe I think, okay, how's my NASDAQ looking? Oh, NASDAQ's been a little bit um, fruity here. Uh, I might say, okay, that might be a short idea. It might be a long idea. You get the point. Go through my cryptos. Everyone put a look at Bitcoin, US, BTC, USD, Bitcoin. I go, no, not interested in having any. Uh, I don't want to trade crypto. Let's have a look at some soft commodities. And if you, again, you may not even choose to trade those. Maybe I'm going to look now at gold and silver. And by the way, you can do this with your, you can also prune down your watch list so that you have some of the stocks you like to trade or some of the markets you like to trade, should I say. So maybe you don't want to trade crypto. Maybe you just want to stick to. Uh, 10 or 15 pairs that you like, couple of indices that you like, couple of commodities you like, put those then in the broad watch list and then prune them down into long ideas and short ideas. And one of the things I've mentioned before in another video, guys, is the nice thing is that you can trade gold against other currencies. So rather than being stuck to gold against US dollar, you can trade gold against AUD, you can trade gold against uh, USD, Euro, um, and uh, any, any of the ones that you want to trade that are available here, which just gives you some more opportunities. Uh, GBP uh, here is uh, silver. So um, what else we got? So I'm looking through these, I'm gonna scan through these and choose the ones I like. Maybe I want to trade a bit of crude. Let's have a look what we've got here. Um, yeah, that's, you know, that's not too bad. Maybe I think it's too quiet, but you get the idea. The point is we now scan through, we have our daily chart at the top, we have our hourly chart below. We're scanning through to find uh, ideas that we like and now we're putting them into our watch list for long ideas and short ideas. And then what we want to do, once we've populated these ideas, we now want to go a little bit more detail and go, okay, you know, I quite like this sh short idea on the CAC, for example. Let me put a horizontal line in here, uh, and I've got it configured so it's a, a little a different color. Here. Let me just uh, put it onto red. Okay, so we put that horizontal line there, and we can say, right, you know what, when price, maybe if price starts to break this, uh, four six eighty level I'm interested in a short and so now you've structured your trade there's your short idea maybe you're going to go now for your AUD NZD and say actually you know if we break perhaps um, you know this will be this where your analysis comes in guys you know if we break this level here then you know maybe I'm going to look for a long as I consider that maybe a drive higher or above the resistance uh, above this uh, kind of um, resistance level here it's now turning support maybe I'm going to look to take this so you're structuring your trades now you might write them down in your journal or whatever you're doing and you go okay great now i've got a plan i've, I've done my scan and you don't have to do this every day guys you know things aren't going to change much in a day on the daily chart maybe every week perfect for a part-time trader scan through separate into long ideas short ideas based on setups that you've already got in your mind bull flags first pullback breakouts etc consolidations are lows whatever it may be and then you go through this secondary scan and you start to look and see, hey, where would I want to pull the trigger? Maybe on this AUD, uh, AUD USD, I'd want to wait for a pullback to here. So I might just draw my horizontal line here rather than saying anything. So you're structuring the trade, writing down the idea then in your journal, and now you're prepared. So you've got a way to filter through the ideas. You've got a way to scan through the ideas. You're dragging them down into a more manageable watch list based on ideas, categorized into ideas. So now you can look through. And of course, you know, when these, um, you know, start to, uh, maybe they don't set up how you like, you can just right click on it and remove uh, from watch list and say, hey, I don't want it anymore. And the trick is to keep this small. You don't want to flood this with anything that's average. It's got to be a good idea that's going to set up in the next week or so. You don't want something that's going to be taking ages to do it. This could easily set up in seven days, fine, that's great. If it's something that you're not looking for until it comes down to here, expecting it for a couple of months, 
just leave it, move on to the next thing. You wanna keep this lean, and so you can keep an eye on things, and so you can get a feel as well for the market you're watching. Hey, I'm not watching the CAC, hey, I'm watching AUDs, NZD. You know what it looks like in your mind, and so when you're ready to pull trigger, you've got a feel for the market, you understand how it's moving, you're not clouded and just bombarded with so many um, different markets and different ideas. All right, guys, that's how we're scanning our long ideas and our short ideas. Do check them out, there's a link to them in the description below. Take care, bye-bye.